Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kate. I am so glad to see you for another Friday Reads. I totally didn't plan on filming today, so I'm not wearing any makeup or anything like that. I'm pretty sure I have baby snot on my shirt, but we're just gonna go with it and see what happens. Uh, so I finished two books last week and I, hi. There's a baby right down here. And I'm currently reading three, so that's very exciting. I'm definitely kind of pulling back on reading. We've got some other life stuff going on, so I haven't been reading as much as usual, but that's okay because I'm feeling a lot more balanced than I have for a while, so I'm super happy about that. So anyways, the books that I finished. First, I finished Hooks Can Be Deceiving by Betty Hechtman. I talked about this a little last week. It's a cozy mystery that takes place, um, it centers around a bookstore employee who runs a crochet group out of her bookstore. And, um, and I really liked it. I wrote a full review of this over on my blog. So if you're interested, I'm trying to remember if I published it. Yes, I think I did. Um, if you're interested, you're more than welcome to go check that out. I really loved the relationships that surrounded this this main character, um, both her personal like friendship relationships with the other females in her crochet group and her best friend, and then also her romantic relationships. Um, I really liked that she was a middle-aged protagonist who had some really strong female friendships, and then she had these um, this romantic life that was kind of ambiguous and she didn't have any shame about it or feel unfulfilled or anything. It was just, um, it just felt like a really like balanced, real life. And I really enjoyed that. The next book that I finished was Fates and Furies by Lauren Groff. Um, this was really interesting to me. So I enjoyed it, but I think I only enjoyed it because of the writing. I do not think that, I know for sure, had it been any other writing, I would have DNF'd it because the storyline, it's very contemporary. It's very, um, these characters who are all wrapped up in themselves and have a hard time seeing past themselves and don't communicate with each other. So they don't really know what's going on with the other one. And um, I have a really hard time with that. And it was a story about a marriage that was a, it was a lot harder of a marriage than it really needed to be, I think. I mean, that's pretty funny. The baby thinks that's funny. But the writing, for some reason, was so compelling that I just had to keep going. And so I did enjoy it, and I do recommend it. I, I think I would like to read um, her short stories collection that just came out, Florida. I think that would be really good, like I said. I just Her writing was so great that I would like to read more of it. But... Um, this, I, yeah, it was kind of a mixed bag for me. I like, I love the writing, did not like the rest of the story. So those are the only two books that I finished. I am currently reading three books and uh, none of them are going particularly quickly for a variety of reasons. So I will just kind of talk about them all. The first one, I picked up All Creatures Great and Small again. I started reading this last summer and then I got on kind of Library Book Island and put it down because... Um, you know, library books have to go back to the library. And even though I was really enjoying it, I didn't have the urgent deadline that I had for the library books. Yeah, but it's a pretty good book. So I picked it up again. I've been, um, we're going on vacation. So I kind of put all my library books, I, I stopped all my library holds and have been really working on trying to, <laughs> let's just cover up the baby face. I've been trying to um, just read my own books and I'm really enjoying getting back into this. And this is, the other two books that I'm reading are, are kind of heavy or, or dense. And so this is my um, light reading and it's it's great, I love it. It's about a, a country vet and kind of the antics that he gets up to, which are delightful. Uh, the other book that I'm reading is a parenting book, Simplicity Parenting by Kim John Payne. This is exactly what it sounds like. It's kind of about simplifying parenting and kids' lives and allowing them to be to grow up to be who they are because they don't have the distraction of stuff and events and things and just all that kind of stuff. And I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'm reading, I'm trying to do a chapter or a half a chapter a day depending on how much it is and or how long the chapter is. And so far that's working out well for me. I uh, 
although I get this problem sometimes with nonfiction books and parenting books especially that I get bogged down in trying to know and remember everything and so I just like it slowly grinds to a halt so I'm trying to just keep the momentum up with this book and hopefully I'll be able to keep doing that because I am really enjoying it and it is giving a really great perspective that I definitely need for my parenting life. And then lastly, this is another book that I can only read about a chapter at a time of and it's just because the subject matter is so hard. Um, this is Amity and Prosperity, One Family and the Fracturing of America by Eliza Griswold. So this is a book that uh, we just learned in the last month, I think, that at my husband's office, at his job, they have a free book room. And this is a room where you can go and pick out books. And um, a lot of them are ARCs, it seems. And um, you can go and read them and get free books. So although he's worked there for three years, he just finally made use of the free book room this week. And this is um, a book that he brought back for me. And it's amazing. I was really excited. So this is about a family in a small town in Washington County, Pennsylvania, which is probably an hour, maybe 45 minutes south of where we used to live in Pittsburgh. And it's about fracking and um, how the fracking um, affected this family and what this family did about it. So I'm not very far into it. I'm on page 54, but I'm really, really enjoying it. It is written, um, it's written really well. Um, Griswold is actually a poet and you can tell that in her writing. This is definitely not a piece of poetry. It's, it's um, certainly appropriate for the content matter as far as like, this is a book about fracking. <laughs> it, it, it uses um, at times very scientific language, um, but it's very well written and compelling and it. It's more of that kind of narrative nonfiction that reminds me of uh, Killers of the Flower Moon by, I forget, I'll put it down below, David Graham, maybe. So I'm really, really enjoying this one and I will let you know more about it as I go on. Have you read any of these books? Let me know if you've read any of them or if you have um, any questions or anything for me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye.